Hi, I'm Rocco Stano and welcome to Storymakers. Today, we are going to be talking about Loving Lulu and we have the creator of Loving Lulu, Awilda Rivera Prignano. Yes, welcome to Storymakers. Thank you for having me, Rocco. Yes, and so tell us about the book. Well, we have Lulu, she's a little girl, and she spends a lot of time with her grandmother while her mom is at work. Uh -huh. And they do a lot of fun things when they're together, make uh, cookies together, sing songs together, and then all of a sudden Lulu starts noticing some changes. Mm -hmm. And she starts to get a little worried. Through her own determination, she, she figures out how can she help her grandma understand that she still loves her and that she's there for her because her grandma, her memory is beginning to fade. So does Lulu call her grandmother grandma? Abuelita. Ah, she calls her abuelita. She calls her abuelita. And, and, what, and that word is what Grandma language? in Spanish. Uh-huh. Uh, Lulu is bilingual mm -hmm. and her abuelita taught her how to speak Spanish. Are the characters based on a real people? Well, the story is inspired by my own journey with my mother. Um, I grew up as a bilingual child, and I actually raised my daughter mm -hmm. as a bilingual child, so we've always spoken two languages. And the story is really inspired by our journey, our experience as a family with uh, my mother, my daughter's abuelita, when her memory was beginning to fade. And we had to uh, make adjustments to how to be able to communicate with her. So tell us about some of the adjustments. One of the things, when we think about communication, I think we automatically revert to speaking. And we forget that we're gifted with all these senses. We're mm -hmm. able to see, we're able to hear, we're able to smell and taste and feel. And what Lulu discovers, or, or when she realizes that her, her abuelita memory is fading, she remembers back to all of the activities, all of those really fun, special times that she shared with her abuelita and how really special it made her feel and really loved. And it gives her the idea if when she goes visit with abuelita, if she does some of these same things with her, it may help her abuelita in that moment to feel loved mm -hmm. and know that she is cared for. So in the book, there are some activities that uh, Lulu uses with her abuelita. Give us an example of some of the things she does. Well, some of the things, they color in coloring books. Oh, okay. Uh, they show abuelita some pictures. So when you say pictures, like photographs? Photographs. Like family photographs? Like or family photographs, because she doesn't always remember everybody, but when she sees them, she knows that they're family. Right. And that makes her feel loved. And friends, too, people that are in her life that help to that helped to bring back those memories of when she was happy. And a music? Music is great because you use your listening skills and it really helps to uh, bring you back to memories of, of things that, of a connection that you're able to make with the music. Same thing with songs. Mm -hmm. So Rocco, do you have any songs that you like? Oh, well, how about Take Me Out to the Ball Game? That's an awesome song. <laughs> So mine, I love The Wizard of Oz, and I love that song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So you could actually play it, uh, you know, on your, if you have it on your phone, you can actually uh, play it and sing along. What about dancing? Are there any dances that you like? Well, I uh, like lots of dances, but uh, if I were going to be doing it with uh, a, uh, my grandparents, I, maybe I would do an easy one like the twist because all you have to do is stand up and twist okay you know what i like i like the hokey pokey oh and yes. the hokey pokey everybody does the hokey that's pokey. that's right yes that's an easy one too yes it is and it's and it's fun you know what's another great activity food oh i love food yes and what's your favorite food uh, cookies, cookies. <laughs> <laughs> well did we say cookies? Yes, we said cookies. Oh, okay, well, I had our Kid Lit TV chef prepare some cookies oh, for us. Beautiful. And they're heart-shaped cookies. A lot of 
heart went into making these cookies. I love that. Yes, so, uh, yes, and but we're going to be decorating, decorating them. Yes, and I have some decorate. These are edible decorations. How do you like that? Yes. And then we have some edible letters. Yes. You can write a little message for your loved one. And multicolored dots. Polka dots. Yes. Polka dots are always fun, Rocco. And we have tubes of icing here. This is going to be, I hope, this is going to be fun. Yes. So we each take a cookie. Uh, there you Thank go. Thank you so much. So uh, maybe we should start with the icing. And so we have various colors here. Let's see, I'll start with this one. Okay. Yes. And I think I am going to start with a white uh, also. So you know, Rocco, this is a great activity to do with your abuelita because cookies incorporates so many of our senses. So you can see the cookies, it's visual. We can smell the cookies. We can. And we can taste the cookies. Not yet. No, not yet. And look, we're having so much fun decorating these cookies together, Rocco. Okay, I know what I want to do next. I'm going to put a message on my cookies. I think I like mine the way it is. Do you see the little Let, butterfly and oh, the little oh, flower? That is beautiful. They are terrific. They are. Let me look at yours again. Oh. So what do you say, Rock? Are you ready to taste it? I can't resist. I need to, I need to taste it. Mmm. Good? If I must say so, not bad. Well, we're going to save these cookies for later. And through the magic of television, we have a clean set here. You know, I know you know yes. that there is a Spanish version. Yes, and it's uh, called Lulu, Lulu Amorosa. Amorosa. Lulu Amorosa. So, Rocco, Amorosa means loving in loving. Spanish. Yes. Yes. Do you know how to speak Spanish? Not really. Can I teach you some sure. words? All right. You want to learn how to say hello? Uh, I, you know. I think I actually know that. Hola. 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 Do you know how to say goodbye? Uh, I do. I do know how to speak Spanish. Adios. You do know Spanish. <laughs> so Rocco, I'm going to teach you now how to say how are you. I feel okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh you're going to in oh, Spanish. Oh, in, in Spanish. Spanish. Oh. Okay. So you would say Como estás? Como estás? And then you'd reply Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien means Muy bien. very well, very yes. good, yes. Yeah. Muy bien, that was very good, Rocco. Thank you. You're Gracias. Welcome. Gracias, it means thank you, yeah. very good. Yeah. So if you'd like to learn some more words, Rocco, there is a little glossary at the end of the story. Oh, okay, I'm going to check that out and improve my Spanish. Oh, and there are other things in the back too, like this one that says, Color me. Yes, color me. So I wanted to include some of those fun little activities that you could do with your abuelita. So we have a coloring page and we've also got a page where we're asking you now, now it's your turn. So you can try and think of all the different ways of how you can express and show love and all of the different activities that you do throughout the day. Okay, well that's terrific. I'm going to check that out. Okay, great. Thank you so much for being here. This was one of the most tasty shows we've had in a long time. The book is Loving Lulu. And thank you again for sharing it with us. Thank you so much for having me, Rocco. It was truly a memorable event. Remember, until next time, read a book in any format.